Hello everybody, let's talk about the derivatives of the first pharyngeal arch. So the first arch derivatives arise from four main structures. There is a cartilaginous core which gives rise to skeletal structures. There are mesodermal structures which give rise to the muscle components. There is a particular nerve for each arch and finally you have the arch arteries. So what are the cartilaginous components? So the cartilage of the first arch is called the rachis cartilage. And the first arch gives rise to two processes. One of them is called the maxillary process which comes superiorly. And the second one is called the mandibular process. So let's place them in the diagram. That is the maxillary process and the first arch proper which is also called the mandibular process. What about the skeletal components? The cartilage of first arch as you know has a specific name. It is called the Meckel's cartilage and the maxillary process even though it has a cartilaginous core, it does not have a specific name but it gives rise to three bony structures in the face which are the maxilla, the zygoma and the vomer. So these three bony structures are given off by the maxillary prominence of the first arch. From the first arch mandibular cartilage which is the Meckel's cartilage, we have these structures which is the incus, malleus, the sphenomandibular ligament from the perichondrium of the Meckel's cartilage and finally the primordium of the mandible. So two primordia of the mandible from either side join together to form the complete mandibular arch in the adult. There is intramembranous ossification occurring in the primordia of the mandible which gives rise to the adult mandible. Let's list them on this side. The nerve of the first arch is called the mandibular nerve. What about the muscles? All the muscles supplied by the mandibular nerve are derived from the first arch. The converse is also true. Muscles of mastication, tensor tympani and tensor villi palatini, mylohyoid muscle and the anterior belly of the digastric. You know that all these muscles are supplied by the mandibular nerve and conversely if you want to know where this which arch gives rise to a particular muscle you just have to look at their nerve supply. Right? So what about the arterial derivatives. The terminal part of the maxillary artery is the artery of the first arch and in order to remember all of these structures well, you just have to remember that first arch structures, most of them start with the letter M. So how do they start with the letter M? The cartilage is Meckel's cartilage. You have the malleus, the sphenomandibular ligament and the mandible. We have the mandibular nerve. Then we have the muscles, most of them are starting with an M, muscles of mastication and mylohyoid. And finally, the artery is the terminal part of the maxillary artery. So that is an easy way to remember the derivatives of the first arch. And let's see what are the derivatives of the second arch in the next class. Thank you.